Hey everyone, welcome to the vid. I hope you are doing really good today, wherever you are. And in this video, I want to talk about the project Perpy, which is a protocol for three different types of people. The first type is for people like me and maybe like you who know nothing about trading, but we wanna get in on that action and copy some successful traders. And it's also for people who are traders and they wanna put their hard earned trading skills to good use and earn a bit of cash from that. And also it's for people who basically don't wanna get exposed to the volatility of trading and who just wanna earn a passive income. Most traders are pretty secretive about their trades and that's fair enough. They don't wanna put all their years of experience and just give it away for free. So often what they'll do is they'll have pretty expensive premium Discord or Telegram groups where you can go and join and get in on the action that way. And I'm sure you've watched technical analysis videos as well where the person doing the analysis will just casually drop about some amazing trade that they did in the last week or the last few days. And you're like, hey, I wanna be able to do that too. And this is where Perpy comes in in that you can get in on the action of these trades but without having to join a exclusive Telegram or Discord group. How it works is actually really simple. All you do is go to the website, find a trader that you wanna follow, you deposit some money into the vault, and then you automatically become part of any trades. So obviously you're gonna have a cut of any winnings and also you're gonna be a part of any losses as well. Once you've put money in the vault, it's not locked and it's not staked. You can withdraw it at any time, even in the middle of a trade if you want to. So you have 100% control over your money. If you're not interested in any of the exposure that you can get with trades, then you can just buy the PRY token and then you can just stake that to get a cut of any of the platform fees. Perpy is built on the Arbitrum network, which is a layer two network on the Ethereum chain. And this chain has been seeing a lot of traction and a lot of coverage on it. And the reason is, is because everything is pretty much across the board doing quite well, the projects and the tokens. So I don't see how this project is gonna be any different because of the simple idea that it's doing and the way that it's fulfilling a need that is out there at the moment. So this is the website and it's really, really simple to use. Uh, basically, it just shows you the top performing vaults at the moment. You can see here what they're trading, the person, the picture, and how much money they've got in it and how many followers they've got. And if you do wanna join their vault, then you simply click jump in or you can actually go to explore. And across here, you can obviously see the losses and the profits over 24, seven days, 30 days, and all time. So obviously this one's up 76%, you know, and then you can just go through and load more. And if you are a trader and you wanna create a vault, then you just go to create, and obviously it takes you through to here. And obviously if you go to the dashboard, you've just gotta connect your wallet and then it'll tell you exactly what type of profits and losses you've got overall. If you wanna go into a vault, then you just pick whoever you wanna do. Let's just pick this person at random and you just click jump in. And here you can see all their stats, uh, the trades that they've done, their trading stats as well, leverage and how many trades they do per week. And you have to just connect your wallet and then you're gonna deposit USDC and then as soon as you've deposited it, then you're part of any trades of this vault. So the trader uses the money in the vaults to trade on GMX, which is a massive decentralized exchange, like he would his own wallet. And the assets traded at the moment are only Bitcoin and ETH, but profits are paid in USDC. So basically you put USDC in, the protocol takes care of all the swaps and everything, and then you get paid USDC in profits. The protocol makes its money from exit fees and the traders make their money from performance fees. And the trader can set the performance fees anywhere from 10% up to 50%. And basically what this means is that if the trader makes any profit, then a little fee is gonna come out of that. If he doesn't make any profit, then you don't have to pay him any fee. And this is sort of the whole point of the thing is that the trader is sharing their expertise. So we are paying a little bit for their expertise. For example, if the trader has a performance fee of 10% and he makes $1,000 profit, 
then 100 bucks of that is gonna get taken out. It's gonna get split between the trader and the protocol in whatever way they're splitting it. And the 1,900 remaining is obviously gonna get split between everybody who's in the vault. The other fee is an exit fee, which is 0.3% if no trades are currently active. So you can take your money out at any time. And if there's no trade currently active, you're gonna get charged 0.3%. So if you had $100 and you wanna take it out, you're gonna get $97 back in your wallet. The fees are slightly higher if you withdraw your money and it reduces the size of the trade or if it stops the trade completely. And here you can see what those fees are. And of course, if you wanna make a passive income and sort of the trading is a little bit passive anyway, because you don't actually have to do anything just except for deposit money into the vault. But if you don't want to be a part of trading, that's okay, you can just, stake on the platform and then you're going to get a cut of any of the fees that do come through. Obviously this is a really young platform and there's not a lot of vaults and the vaults that are on it don't have a whole lot of cash in them. But also because this project is on the Arbitrum network, this is quite a popular network because of the speed and the cheapness of it and the fact that so many projects and so many tokens that have launched on this network have done really, really well. And I think that potentially Perpy could follow that same trend because it is such a simple idea and it's a simple solution to a problem which, let's admit, is quite big because trading is so notorious for being stressful and difficult to get into and one of the hardest ways to make money and you know it takes a long time to learn so if traders are being nice enough to share that with us then you know that could actually be really popular depending on the caliber of traders who actually join the protocol and one of the things i wish perpy would do is to allow trading of the native arbitrum tokens on their protocol because these tokens have historically done quite well. And I think that if you are lucky enough to get into a vault which got into an Arbitrum token early, then potentially you could see a lot of significant gains because there have been a lot of significant gains with quite a few of the Arbitrum tokens. So obviously this project is really good, but let's have a look at some of the potential issues with it right now. And obviously the first one is USDC. Obviously there was that little scare with all the bank runs happening over in the States. So, you know, USDC could be seen as volatile right now. And I'm just wondering if this is actually holding anyone back. So we'll just have to wait and see. And also there's no KYC with this project and pretty much the team have flat out said they're not gonna KYC and they're not gonna dox. And this is sort of a bit of an issue, but it's also a bit of a double-edged sword because projects that have doxed or KYC'd in the past have also rugged. So it's almost like, does a KYC actually even mean anything anymore? And the Project Truth Seekers are trying to turn that around in terms of doing an actual meaningful KYC. So I think a KYC is better than no KYC. And the project is in beta testing at the moment, which means there is no audit, but luckily for us, it is the top of the list of things to do for the project once they have gotten money from the sale. And my friends, I'd really, really love to know what do you think about this project? I personally actually think it's pretty cool because trading is something that I have been interested in, but I just haven't done it yet for whatever reason. So hopefully I can watch a little bit and learn a little bit from this as well and see what happens. So please leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.